Hi YouTube, it's Catherine Michelle. Um, I'm here to do just a brief um, glimpse into what Sophia and I are going to be working on. Um, and I know I've said this before, but I have just not been up to par to doing things. Thought I was over a lot of stuff, but turns out need a little more time to um, get things done. Uh, so just got to get past all these next few tests. Anyway, um, what we are going to be showing you in greater detail than what I'm going to show you today, we're going to be talking about the um, latent prints found on the pistol and on the magazine. Um, so it will be <laughs> quite interesting because we're going to compare their reports, their notes, the photos, and photos of David out um, when he was, you know, in public or with his family or whatever. Uh, so we're going to compare all of that. And, um, it's, it, <laughs> it will leave you shaking your head like everything else in this case. You're just going to be why and how did they not see all of this? So, um, in the next part of this, I'm going to share my screen with you and I would like to point some things out. But before we get started with that, I would like to give a huge shout out to Richie from Boston. I hope this is going to show right on your on your side. Um, but his I, I ordered his cup a little while ago and it, it um, showed up about a week or so ago. And I love it. It's my coffee mug. He does this, I think, like once a year or something. So I, this I missed it last year. And this year I finally was able to, to catch his... Uh, uh, promotion on his merchandise before it went away. So anyway, thank you, Richie. Love the cup. Uh, next time you come to Colorado, though, make sure you come in September and then um, go park in the mountains somewhere because you will love it. Uh, the colors will just leave you breathless. Okay, now on to uh, the rest of this um, case. So... Here we go. I'm going to see if I can share my screen with you now. Hold on. Okay, we're going to start off here on this page, um, which is the uh, BCA report number seven. Um, report on examination of physical evidence, latent prints. And I'm just, I just want to show you this again. Sophia and I will be going over this in more detail and pointing things out to you. But we're just going to, I'm just going to be talking today about the pistol and the magazine. And this, these, these are latent prints. So they're, the pistol is 1A, the uh, magazine is 1B. And then we get down here from 1A, one latent palm print designated as latent print 1A-1, item 1B. So we have this as the gun, and we have this as the ma magazine. And it says one latent fingerprint designated as LP1B-2. Now they say that um, uh, right here that LB1, uh, LP1B-2 is inconclusive to David due to limited quality and quantity of information in the latent print. Now let's see what they say about... Uh, LP1A-1. Hmm. Where did they write about that? Yeah. Um, not seeing that at this moment, so we will cover that. Uh, Sophie and I will go over that in more depth. So here on, um, at least the one on, they're saying on the magazine, where you see a very clear print in blood, they're saying that that was limited quality and quantity. Now, let's move on. Let's go here. Now we're going to read part of their notes. This is page 206 of the 488 pages. And it says, no known palm prints were submitted or found in BCA files for David Crowley. Now, mind you, when the FBI sent in their report, or sent in the fingerprint card, they told BCA that if they needed anything, that they would send, uh, you know, the actual print card, not just a copy. They never requested the actual card. 
Now, those of you who are in the military, and I can't remember, it's been so long, um, do you get your palm prints taken? I know you get your fingerprints taken, but do you get your palm prints taken as well? If anybody could write that, I would be so happy to, if you could just let me know. But anyway, we'll continue. And um, this Jennifer continues, consulted with Dennis Randall about latent print 1B-2, the print on the magazine now, and we will, <laughs> Sophie and I will show you that picture. Um, discussion included whether impression was one or two prints in orientation, also shown item 49, so will not be verifier for case. He agreed it could be one or two prints and that impression was unusual, coupled with low quality, makes it difficult to determine. Okie dokie. And um, <laughs> we're going to go on to the next one. Oh, here we go. Next page. <laughs> um, the analysis. Latent print 1A-1, which that's the one they took off of the gun, the one on the grip. And it says, one latent palm print, narrow areas of visible ridge detail, some visible pressure, uh, oh, sorry, visible pores and ridge units, visible scar, some high quality areas, but lower quality of uh, LLD. Not sure what they mean by that. Oh, maybe it's LRD, lower ridge detail. I don't know. Clueless there. Borderline sufficiently, possible visible creases, and an equal sufficient for case no AF1, uh, AF18. Not sure what that is. Oops. Down here, latent print 1B-1. Now that's the one on the magazine. One latent fingerprint, possible something slash L. Not sure what that means no visible, whatever their triangle means, and core heavily smeared. Right side, um, right side very, very light, uh, very light dis deposition, but more clear, and very low quality, lower quality of info, not sufficient for case. Now, <laughs> when we show you uh, these photos, and compare what they have written here with the actual photos taken of this of these prints on the gun it, it will be interesting okay so as you see they're um, saying that the palm print has a visible scar they're saying that the fingerprint found on the magazine was not clear um, and uh, again, we will show you and we will match again what they are saying in this in both of the reports, the typed up report and their report notes and compare that with the actual photos taken at the crime scene and then photos of David. And I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about that. Oh, but one more thing. One more last shout out for Richie on his cup. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but it says look up solar shield. And then on this side, it says RFB, we do, where is it? Sorry. <laughs> we do not consent. I love this cup. So thank you, Richie, for making this available to us to, to purchase. I appreciate it. And um, everyone else, I hope you have a, a great day. And um, again, I'm sorry videos are coming so slow. I we'll get back into the swing of things. It's just taking longer than I thought and longer than what they suspected. So one step at a time. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.